Hello and welcome to the Tarkus Zone. Thank you for joining me. Today we're playing Royal Revolt Warriors. We're playing the demo. It's free on Steam. I'll provide that link below in the description. Uh, you can play it today for free. I wanted to show you quickly that I have capped out all the progression I can do at this point. You know, you play the game, you earn gold, you use that gold to buy these upgrades. These upgrades carry over onto your character, whatever character you're going to be playing. Uh, you get these um, stats boosted. I've maxed it out. We're going to go back to the only character that al they allow you to play right now is this one here, the warrior. I'm going to hit select here. So basically, I've played 23 games in the demo. And I was able to max out all those. So you play 23 games, basically, and you can max out all of what they allow you for the progression part of the game. I've cleared it 16 times. I've killed over 100,000. I've boss killed 78. Now I'm just gonna play the game real quick. Uh, real quick, it takes 20 minutes. Basically the 20 minute timer. But I'm just gonna tell you what I'm doing as we go. So you can see how easy mode this game is once you kinda understand uh, how it's uh, put together. The first thing you wanna do is get the Monk's Brew. If it's not available, then get the movement speed or the armor if that's available. The uh, abilities that you can get every level. So that's a level increase. So you always want to get armor if that's available or the brew. So every level you get a choice. That choice is random. So you're not always guaranteed to build the same build for each game. Always take the armor. If the brew is not available, always take the armor. Because now I can just stand here and just let them come to me. And that brew that I took out of that first thing is that circle that you see around me. All right, always take the armor. And those crystals are the XP crystals. So I just have, to, when I pick those crystals up, I get the XP. So this monk's brew, always choose that as a priority over everything else. All right, these guys are gonna come in and just gonna die in the circle. All right, so armor or attack area. Now this attack area does increase the circle around you, the bruise attack, but I want the armor. So right now they got some range. There's, there's gonna be rounds. All right, I'm gonna take the hit point regen. There's gonna be rounds where you've got melee only and I'm gonna show you those rounds where you can just stand still and let the mobs come to you. And then you have these rounds where you've got ranged guys shooting at you. Now, they'll only shoot at you, I think for like two minutes and then it goes into a melee round. I don't know the exact same, t the exact timing on that, but you'll notice it that you'll no longer see uh, a ranged guy shooting at you. Now, if you want to play this game uh, to, uh, to maximize, your your rewards is you just run from one barrel to the other barrel and each barrel is going to give you a random so take this attack area whenever they don't give you the brew or the regen or the armor always take this attack area and you'll notice that it does affect the circle around you always try to take out these boars because they give you some mass xp and then this magnet sucks in all the XP that you left behind. All right, here we've got uh, none of the ones I've... Uh, so take the XP gain. Because the higher levels you can get quicker, that means more boosts. Because you get a choice every level, right? So if the XP gains are higher each time you pick up an XP token, then you get into higher levels. We're going to try to hit 50th level on this... Okay, so this is a melee lat round. I should have to explain that to you. So we're in a melee round now. There's not range attacking us. There's nothing chasing us down uh, that's going to blow up around us. It's just these guys coming in on me. So basically, I'm just going to stand still. I'm just going to let them... Because of the armor in the hit point regen that I have, these guys can't do any damage to me. And you're going to find during all the melee rounds, this is going to be true. Well, you're going to just stand in one spot and let them come to you until you know a boss pushes you out of the way or, or forces you to move all right so we want to take the xp gain again 
because we'll get more XP for everything that we kill. All right, so here again, we want the attack area to be increased. So that circle around us will be increased by that. All right. So you're gonna get a mini boss. We'll get a mini boss coming on us shortly. We wanna take that mini boss out quickly. I know in my last video, I said you didn't have to really bother with them. I find that if you take out the mini bosses quickly, again, we'll take the XP gain, then you can just stand in one spot because the boss will do a, a mass damage to you if they're just wailing on you. Like these guys aren't doing any damage to me during this melee round. And then you just move forward and collect all the rewards. All right, take uh, the regen. I mean, the walking speed is okay when you're at lower levels or you're, you're at a low progression level like that blacksmith store. I maxed out on everything. So, you know, early on, it made sense that I needed to move around quickly so I would take walk speed because I was running from barrel to barrel to barrel. But because I've got all my stats maxed out, I always take the brew if it's available. Everything is maxed out. I'm not having to run from barrel to barrel. I could care less about the barrels, honestly, at this point. So now we've got ranged guys back on the field. So just keep moving. Uh, we'll take the uh, attack area over the regen and we'll go to the, this because I wanted to click, collect the uh, XP. Now the gold you got to pick up yourself. That's why I don't like moving around the map all that much. Uh, you know, so I stay in one spot so that I can pick up the gold. Early on when I first played the game I'd run all over the map. But now I just kind of stick to a location where there's three barrels that respawn. And I just run, if I need the barrels, then I run. I mean, the barrels are very important to you when you're not high in the progression tree. Because you really kind of need those uh, bonuses. But here you can see how I've got this kind of in easy mode. And even the range guys aren't doing all that much. So we've got our first boss. We're going to aim by using the right mouse button. What we're going to do is we're going to now take the Whirling Axe. That's all we're really going to need. And we'll just keep them in the Whirling Axe. Uh, you know, I'm backing up, but I'm aiming using the right mouse button. I'm aiming at him. So that axe will do some damage. Now, I can go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Watch. I'll go toe-to-toe -to -toe and I'll do some mass damage going toe-to-toe. -to -toe. But he's also doing some mass damage to me by doing it. Oh, this is going to help me. So this magnifies my damage. See how I can aim and still move around? Oh, this is going to help me. Look at that. That even maximizes it more. So always take out these bosses quick because this way you can go back. Because we're in a melee round again. That's what we're in. So I'd be nice if I just had to stand still. Oh, we're past that little. Because now we've got these guys that are explosive. So you gotta always keep moving with the guys. If these explosive guys are on the field, you gotta keep moving. All right, we take the attack area. All right, I think the explosive guys are done. Nope, they're still they're still running around. Well, we'll get another melee round here where we'll be able to just uh, stand around and not worry about anything. We're gonna go back up to that area that I was kind of farming up here where I know the three barrels are. All right, we always take the brew as priority, whatever time the, if it allows you to choose the monk's brew, whatever that is, you choose it. Oh, get that magnet, pulls in all the experience. So once these explosive guys stop running on the map, then we'll be able just to sit tight all right, I think we're done. No, nope, we got a couple more. Yeah, just don't stand in those circles when they blow up. All right, so we're going to de definitely take the amulet, 10% damage. That means to everything. Any damage output you do is 10% boosted. All right, so now we're at another melee phase. So we'll just sit here and let them gobble themselves up. Again, the uh, 
the battle is only 20 minutes so it makes for a fun time once you've got it figured out i'm hoping that they in the demo they add some new maps or at least characters new uh characters you can play always take the monks brew i'm gonna just move forward here to collect these experiences all right we're gonna do the plus 10 percent damage again that affects okay monks brew that affects all output damage. So right now, I think we're doing like 15 points of damage per tick. All right, we're gonna go into another round of melee. We're gonna take the XP gain. Uh, another round of uh, ranged, I meant, not melee. So we're now we've got ranged guys on the map. So they're not really doing that much damage to me. All right, I'm gonna take the 10% damage. I mean, I'm just, I'm just, eating them up at this point I, you know it'd be nice if i didn't have to run around and i could just let them come to me they kind of okay the monk's brew because the monk's brew is on a tick you know it's like every few seconds it fires but you can lower that duration so it ticks quicker that's what we chose there all right, I think the melee guys are, or the range guys are done. So we're back into a melee phase. So they can just come to me now. Just come on in. Yep. So we've got, we're almost at the halfway mark. We're at 26th level. I'm trying to try to hit 50th level with this uh, round. All right, what do we need to take? Okay, we'll take the 10%, increase to all damage. All right, let's uh, pick up some experience. So we just gotta move a little bit to the side. All right, we'll take the Monk's Brew. So now we should be up to almost 20 points, I'd imagine, in some... Uh, some of them crit, some of, them, some of the attacks crit. So it looks like the average is about 16 points of damage is what we're doing with the uh, thing around us. All right, so now what we want to do, we'll take the regen... walk around pick up all the XP all right so we're at uh, walk speed or max hit points they won't hurt for them you know you don't need to max hit points when you're regenerating as quickly as we are so the movement speed will be nice allows me just to pick up this uh, experience quicker All right, so now I got another boss on the field. It's the wolf boss, so we'll have to be moving during this phase. All right, we'll take the regen. quick work of the boss pick out the goal pick up the experience all right so now we'll increase the whirl axe that axe that is spinning around us we've increased that okay we want with a magnet that allows us to pick up and we're now again in one of the melee phases so they're just going to die around us it, uh, it's not a range phase, so I don't have to move. Because that boss round, where the boss comes out, they, I'm assuming that the developer wanted that to last longer, but I, if you take the boss out quick, then you can just get back to just standing around. All right, we'll take the walk speed. Uh, we'll take the walk speed, because that was the only thing that uh, looked good. Uh, we'll take the whirling axe speed. We'll increase that. That whirling axe is nice. That, at the end, it'd be nice to have those just... What's great about the Whirling Axe is you're just leaving it behind. So anything that runs into it is going to uh, take damage. 
And if I don't move, there's one in front of me and there's one behind me. See, if I'm not moving, but if I'm moving, it just gets left behind. Oh, I was gonna pick that up. See all the axes? When you, when you get that, when you get that boost in that barrel. You know, it, it might be smart of me to run from barrel to barrel only to get the extra gold. But at this point, I don't need the gold because I've maxed out all the progression. All right, what we're gonna do is we're going to do the whirlwind attack duration, so that will spin longer. So when they're left behind, that will that will spin longer. I, mean, I don't know if I've taken any damage in a while. Now, with those guys that show up and blow up, you can stay still for that because because our uh, circle is so wide that they die at the circle edge and they don't carry over the blowing up next to you if you just stay still. So right now, I've got range guys shooting at me. See the range guys shooting at me? And I'm taking, like, no damage. See, like, you know, I'm taking a little damage, but I'm not moving right now, even during a ranged... So the damage is adding up, so we'll pick up some of this XP. All right, we'll add one base damage to those whirlwind axes. I'll go over here, uh, this barrel. There's food right there, that's what I was looking for. So now I should be able just to stand put again. Find if I can find a group of uh, guys worth staying put for. All right, whirlwind um, area. We'll increase that. So now look how wide they are. When they those axes are, look how wide they are. Their area is now increased. So I'm leaving four at sometimes because of the duration being as long as it is, they're not disappearing for the next two to come out. So now I've got up to four on the field of battle. Okay, we're in a melee phase. I'm just gonna stand right here. We're down to six minutes. This phase is pretty cool because these wolves just keep on coming. I got uh, some ranged guys that showed up. Decided they wanna do some damage to me. Yeah, I haven't got my armor or regen high enough to survive the... Uh, not, okay, what do we want to do here? Whirlwind base, we'll bring that. I haven't got it high enough where I can just survive an onslaught of the ranged guys. I mean, I, that's the thing is you still... Uh, you gotta move or, you, or they'll just constantly do damage to you. So just moving outside of the, the bubbles is purple bubbles just gonna get hit by oh get okay, another boss I'm gonna chase him down this boss I just look how quickly I killed that boss a uh, whirlwind guys we're gonna give those guys more attack damage all right do we have ranged guys on the map nope this is another melee phase where I don't have to move And they got the bomb guys coming in. Like I said, they're not getting close to me. They're not, so they're blowing up around me because they're dying at the outer circle because that circle's so big now. So they can't get to me. But during this bomb phase, I don't even need to move. So it's basically a melee phase. Because the whole point of it is to force me to keep on moving. But my circle around me is just too wide for them to do any damage to me. Okay, I'm gonna pick up some XP. All right, so what do we got here? We're gonna do walk speed. See, I'm just melting these guys, just melting them. Uh, we'll do uh, attack speed on my sword. Actually, that, that thing where it blows everything up can be a pain if you don't get the magnet because then you gotta go chase down all that. XP. I like being able to just stand, stand in one spot and let it just add up. So now these uh, range guys show up 
with a vengeance in these big circles. Uh, I'm gonna go with the base attack damage on my primary sword that's in my hand. Because what it is, is the game only allows you to get so high. I think 8th level on the items. If you look at where my player icon is on the upper left hand corner, you'll see that I got the brew at 8 and I got the axes at 8. The game stops you from going any higher. So the, those items won't show up during the level. But, you know, when you get a level, those items no longer show up as a choice. They're no longer even going to be choice here. Until you, so what's going to happen is we're just going to cap everything that eighth level. If we can get up to the levels that I'm hoping that we can get up in three minutes. I have a boss running around me right now. That's why I'm taking damage. All right, so that boss right there, he's right in front of me. I was taking damage because I was just kind of skirting it. I just, just picked up the gold it dropped and uh, now I'm picking up all the experience. So now I should start to just regen because I'm at a melee phase again. So this is a melee phase. So I just should be able to sit here and just regen because nothing's gonna do any damage to me. Because they can't get close enough to hit me. And if they do hit me, that armor that I took early on is protecting me. So it's mitigating the armor, is mitigating the damage, and then I'm regening whatever the splash over might be. So right now I'm almost fully hit, healed. And then I'm, I'm not moving, I'm just standing here. So now I'll just pick up the XP. Uh, I'll go with, the, I'll get this, so we try to get that sword up to level eight. It's now level seven. So that, that's only gonna show one more time. And now it show no, that option should no longer show. My primary sword is maxed out based on the demo, what they allow you to do in the demo. I'm just moving around because it's, I'm just picking stuff up. So now my choices are poison or fireballs. I'll take the fireballs. Those are pretty cool because I don't have to worry about them and I don't have to I don't have to point. I don't have to point them. So the fireball just shoots any, the closest guy next to me. We got one minute left. We're at 49th level, so like I said, I was trying to hit 50th level. That, that's going to be the root of this video. That's what I'm going to name it. How to get to 50th level. So the key is, is to pick up those uh, XP bonuses. You know, when we were when we were choosing things during level up, upgrades, we had gotten those choices where we could get more XP for each kill. So it's key to take that so that you get, you're get you able to get into the higher levels so that you can basically cap everything out. I mean, that's that's the, that's the thing about it is, is if you can um, level quick, then you basically have everything in your tool belt because you can just buy everything. See, so yeah, for example, if you only got the 30th level, then there's 20, 20 choices that you didn't get because you didn't get the 50th level, right? During the level upgrades so right now i'm just trying to cap everything out now in 21 seconds the big boss is going to come out and start wailing on us and what i've been doing is you can drag this out uh, you can kite the boss for a long time i would say after the boss comes out, you can kite the boss for, I think, for 10 minutes. Like, you can just run around and still collect gold. Because you don't have to kill the boss. You have to kill the boss to end the game. But you don't have to kill the boss right off. And more, more of these monsters are spawning during this boss phase. So if you're really looking to capitalize on gold and capitalize on experience and kind of just... Doing, my, doing your own thing, it's really about the gold right now, is you just stay ahead of the boss and don't do any damage to the boss. But because I don't need the gold, I'm just gonna show you basically how it's done. I'm just gonna 
aim at the boss. I'm gonna just back up, aim at the boss, go forward, do a couple swipes, get behind the boss, do a couple swipes, get behind the boss, do a couple swipes, and then we're pretty much gonna be done this game. Because once the boss falls, just make sure you're standing on the boss when it falls so you get that extra gold. So I got a total of 87,000 damage. I killed uh, 9,500 9, kills, five bosses, zero deaths, hit continue. And that's really it, folks. That's the game. You can easily get to 50th level. Again, I mean, I make it look easy because I've capped all this out. But when you start playing the game, the first thing you want to cap out is your regen, then cap out your max hit points then cap out your uh, speed, your walking speed, and then you want to cap out the one that gives you more experience. So I believe it's this one here, XP gain. So right now I get a 30% XP gain in addition to the XP gains that I could get during level ups. So that's key too. That allows you to get to those higher levels, which then allow you to have more abilities to just accumulate more gold. And right now, I don't need any more gold because I've capped out all my abilities. All right, well, thank you for joining me, and this has been the Tarkus Zone.